again, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. Dima, our cover music. Ari Spears has been pretty much famous since the age of 16. This brother is 16 years old. Where he came through on Def Comedy Jam. And after that, well, Ari Spears was supposed to be the next best thing. He was supposed to be big like Eddie Murphy. He was pretty much a first round draft pick, number one overall in the movie and comedy industry. And for a while, Ari Spears lived up to the hype. He went all around the world. He was on Mad TV. But something happened in his career where he started doing very cringe things and he kind of wasn't Ari Spears anymore. I don't really know why his career fell off, but he did. Many people can even notice that his appearance fell off. He went from looking like this to something happening with his body and now his eyes look like this. Some people make fun of him about his appearance, but that's not what I'm going to do today. It's not important. Ari Spears, pretty much, in my honest opinion, although he's black, he has a very non-black audience. And you have to be when you've appeared on shows like Out of Sync, Jerry Maguire, The Pest, things like that. I mean, he's been on a lot of movies that have a multicultural audience. So when he makes clips like this, we could be a little confused. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Ari Spears here. I just got doing my colonoscopy, public service announcement, black men, get this done. I know we be real homophobic in the black community and we confuse getting a health exam because a doctor put his finger in your head. Knock it off. Get the colonoscopy. They put you to sleep. You wake up. You don't even know that your booty been tampered with. Get the colonoscopy. This is a public service announcement from Harry Spears. Put your f***ing homophobia away and take care of yourself, black men. All right. Well, that's actually good. He's telling black men to go and get a checkup. Here's Harry Spears saying that black men don't want to get a col colonoscopy because of the prejudice against gays. That's one of the reasons why we don't want to do it. I've I've never heard that. I've never heard anybody else say that. Maybe people just don't want to do it because they don't want to go to the doctor. That's just kind of really what it is. But okay, Aries, I'll let you slide on that one. Thank you for telling black men to check on their health. But then Aries Spears puts this out. Yo, what up? It's your boy Aries Spears here. Hey, yo, quick public service announcement. To all my beautiful black queens out there, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I love you, I respect you. You're beautiful and you're mandatory. That being said, can some of y'all please, for the love of God, stop wearing the big fake eyelashes? You have no idea. Are you not aware of how ridiculous that looks to have this on your face? It looked like you got pterodactyl wings on your face. You don't need it. And if you're not proportioned correctly and you're as skinny as Snoop Dogg, with this on your face, it, it's just a horrible look. Them eyelashes look like BBLs for your face. You don't need it. Love and respect. DM me for the link to the Spears and Steinberg podcast. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel under Spearsburg Pod. Hit like and subscribe. You don't need it. BBLs for the face. So this is Aerie Spears criticizing black women for wearing fake eyelashes. It looks like you have pterodactyl wings on your face. BBL, it's like you're putting a BBL on your face. And to be honest, I'll give my opinion on that. But before I do, remember when Ari Spears had a situation with Tiffany Haddish and he got caught doing that skit? And remember, he got beat up on Corey Holcomb's show a few years back. But Corey Holcomb <laughs> exposed him for this and roasted him pretty good. I can't believe you ain't talking about the boy today. Which one? The one you keep bringing up, go on, bring him up. Uh oh, no, what did we yes, say? Yes. Go on, clean it, bring him up. You've been <laughs> holding to bring him up for so bad. What happened? Bring the whole ass. <laughs> what did we? Oh, no, please don't. I don't be wanting to get shined to these buttons. Go ahead, bring the whole ass. He's about to next to crying. Don't do yeah, it. The bitch was crying next to the white you man. You see that? Right. What kind of. <laughs> will cry next to a white man with a white beard. <laughs> this cried next to Santa Claus and didn't get a toy. Nah. This is a goofy. You ain't see that video they, they posted on him, though. This is a goofy. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> when he was, when this cried 
in front of a white man with a white beard and didn't get a toy. <laughs> it's <laughs> over for you, dog. <laughs> it ain't nowhere where you can go in America where you have not solidified yourself as a sucker. <laughs> you thought that crash was going to work. Not in front of these. Not in front of no 5150. Remember you was begging to be on the show? My n don't fuck with n who cry over sucker sh looking for sympathy. You got in the tub with a baby. You a weirdo n And now you crying. Oh, you must ain't seen that video he was kissing that man. That's an older one. Put that video that's out old, yeah, that's came old oh, one. Oh, okay. Oh, you even came yeah, there late. We been, we been new Aries was mother goddamn indulging doo doo. <laughs> indulging doo doo. <laughs> he indulging doo doo. That's the, what he like. The doo doo dipple. <laughs> Next, he turned that ass all around and be like, week. mwah. <laughs> 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 That's what he did when he kissed that. Uh, I got my man. <laughs> 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 the fuck is this <laughs> All in the up on video <laughs> and kiss him, and people be talking about Harry's funny. <laughs> oh, well, anytime somebody say that, I be like, "What the fuck I'm gonna say? What's funny to you is funny to you. Funny to you." <laughs> Now, guys, I'm going to be honest. You know, your boy, I'm hard on the sisters. I'm hard on the black community in general. But I'm going to be honest. What was the point of telling black women that you need to stop wearing fake eyelashes because it looks like you have pterodactyl wings on your face? I, again, like I get some of the criticisms of black women in the things that they wear are weaves and wigs. I typically don't even deal with that. But the reality is this, Aerie Spears, you have, in my honest opinion, not even a black fan base at all. I don't even think black women even care about your podcast or your content. I mean, you even have a Spears and Steinberg podcast with, you know, an American Jewish guy who's also a comedian. So you're not even really operating a lot in black media anyway. So what is the point of you coming out and saying that? Again, it just doesn't make sense. And it appears that, okay, let me just come after the black community or let me come after black women so I can just get my views up when really that's a stupid thing. I, I don't even know that many black women, to be honest, even when I live in the States. Yeah, you do have some women that wear fake eyelashes that are really just abnormal. But bro, I lived in black America for a long time. I just don't really see that a lot. I don't even see it with the city girl kind of chicks a lot. Maybe I'm wrong, but when I was there, I just didn't see exaggerated, you know, eyelashes. You see it sometimes, but not a lot. Just like you don't really see a whole bunch of exaggerated fingernails, you do see it, but not a lot. And if you do see it, you just ignore somebody like that. And then, you know, you go talk, talk to somebody who sees it. And it's not like it's something that anybody would really give a fuck about. So why was he even mentioning it? And it's kind of like, okay, well, let me just talk about black people or black women and get my views up so I can do that when it leaves a lot to be desired, especially when your fan base is most likely not even black. Now, of course, let me go ahead on and just read some of these comments that sister said. Take the music. He looked like a gang ring big toe. Another lady goes, good thing we don't care about what he thinks. Another person goes, they ha hate black women so badly. All races wear false eyelashes. Just leave black women out of the convo damn. Lovely Lynn, it's always the men that look like him talking about women. Jesus listens, you saying that when you have raccoon eyes, isn't this the same guy that made the inappropriate skit regarding children? I mean, I just really don't understand this. And even for, for, for me commentating, a lot of guys need to stay away from this. As much as hard as it is, brothers need to stay away from what sisters look like in general. Like, it's not gonna change how they appear. It's not gonna make you change how they feel. Like if a woman is overweight or, you know, she looks a certain way, now again, tattoos and certain color weaves that can bring, you know, different kind of men to you that you don't like and then pterodactyl wings. But to go out there and just say it just to get some attention on you. I mean, again, bro, like at this age, you're not a child, man. Like that should be beneath you. You know what I mean? Especially when you don't do that for the other groups. Another thing I want to talk about, you know, black people that pretty much talk down on the race of people or what they look like. 
but you never say about any other group. Like, again, remember, this guy has a podcast with Steinberg. That's a Jewish guy. Would he ever say the same thing about a Jewish lady or a white lady or a Hispanic lady? No. Like, you come after the people in your community to say that, but at the same time, you go out there and have a podcast with a guy that you talk about, you know, very deep world issues with, sometimes on a very intellectual base level, and then you come on your own page and you start talking down on the people in your community to do what? And then this is the reason why people don't even respect blacks like this at all. You go and you say this about the African-American community, and then you go on your podcast on Steinberg, and you would never say it about his group people, even though we all know that, hey, a lot of African-Americans feel some way about certain people in the untouchable class. So again, Ari Spears keeps being weird and keeps being immature and dumb for any reason why I just don't know. And like I said, the conversation should always be about how someone is behaving, not about their looks. Everybody has problems in any part of the world with women looking a certain kind of way. The behavior is probably where I should stand and just leave it at that. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out. <laughs>